Hello everyone, this is Brittany here with Meaningful Kids and today I'll be sharing my uh, beauty supply store haul with you all. I did have to run to the store to go get some items for me, my clients, and my kids as well. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to uh, place down in the comments the different type of videos that you all would like to see, um, different information that you all would like to know, just different topics, just period, so we can have some type of content. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter as well, and don't forget to follow our blog. If you're interested in booking an appointment with me, the description will be in the link. And if you're interested in shopping our hair care line, the link will also be in the description. So let's get to our <laughs> products that we found inside the beauty supply store. Um, the bag is kind of loud. I know, I know. First one I got is this hair. I got the old school pure Milky Way hair. You can never go wrong with Milky Way. I got this color. Um, it's like a purple, like a dark purple color, like maybe like a plum color. You really can't see it like that. Um, but I got this color because I did want to play in some color and I did want to switch up my look. I already have another 14 inch in my natural hair color upstairs. So I will be doing a tutorial on this so you all can see how the look is going to come out. But this good. Um, but this hair is really good just for like a quick weave. It'll last you a couple of weeks or maybe longer if you take care of it, you know, like with the proper maintenance. Um, you can put a regular flat iron or curling iron to it. You can shampoo it. You can color it. I wouldn't suggest for you to color it. I would suggest for you to just uh, buy the colored hair. Or if you do decide to color it, just go ahead and get the 613 hair. Like, don't bleach it. And just put whatever semi-permanent color you want to put on it. And it's going to take the color really, really well. So, that's why I got this. Um... Of course, I got little hair balls, little barrettes. You know, these are really good. They are very convenient for when you're trying to do like a quick little style with the ponytails for the little girls. Or it just adds a little bit of glamour or enhancement to like the braids, depending on what type of style that they're getting. Uh, we actually have, some people call these like the bobos or the balls or just the regular hair balls. I got some of these. You can never go wrong with white. Because white goes with everything. Um, I also got a colorful set as well, you know, because spring is coming up. So I thought this would be like really, really cute to have on hand for my clients. You can never go wrong. I always got to keep a pack of clear beads on hand because everybody always either want clear white, pink, or purple. So you always got to have that, those colors on hand. Um, so of course, we go to pink. I thought these are really cute. They're two-toned, and they um they have like different color pinks in it. So I thought that this was really cute. Um, we also have a pink and white pack of beads. Of course, the usual, the normal. Can't go wrong with a white pair because they always want either white or clear. Like I said, and it's a purple as well. We got a purple. So this right here is the different shades of purple. They got the solid colors and they also have like the different clear purple colors. Um, can't go wrong with a yellow pair of beads neither. These are actually two-toned as well. I'm not sure if you can see them. I thought that these were really, really cute. They're like the spring colors. They're two-toned as well with like the clear and the spring colors. Um, of course, I got me some bee sticks. If you haven't heard, these bee sticks will save your life, okay? Um, and just like a heads up, like normally, depending on if you have like large braids, you may need like between like 10 to 12 bee sticks if you're going to put maybe like four or five beads on, on each braid. Um, or if you're doing like a smaller style, you maybe need maybe like 15 to 20 bee sticks. Um, depending on how many beads you're putting on each, um, 
depending on how many beads you're putting on each braid but i will also do a tutorial as well to show you different ways to put beads on your hair and to also um to show you how to use the bead stick as well so you can stay tuned for that but these will definitely save your life um some more hair bows got some ribbon rubber bands you never go wrong with rubber bands um I also got the, the Carrot Carrot Slick Stick. I love this slick stick because it gives you a natural finish. Um, this is also good for like if you're doing like a ponytail like this. This is good for that. If you don't want to use the beeswax or you could use this with the beeswax. But as you know, it's also wax as well. So this is, um, and this is also good for like your leave out. It gives you a really soft, natural leave out that actually holds it won't cause your leave out to frizz up um it won't you know how sometimes like you may like flat iron it and your hair it'll still be like falling like all over the place or flying all over the place like this wet stick it'll help keep your hair in place like with and it'll help it blend in with the weave and your leave out area so don't sleep on this it is kind of pricey but it's worth it and this is also good too for like whenever you braid it if you was to run out like some of your gel or your jam like this will be really really good um to use as an alternative also got me it's not morning glory but it's like a glue protectant for when i do do my quick weave with the purple hair that i'm gonna show y'all um and i got me some handy dandy scissors you know you can never go wrong with these scissors because you know of course you got to cut the hair you got to cut a pack of something open or sometimes you may have to trim the hair i really don't recommend to use these for trimming the, the natural hair because these um are really i consider these like disposable scissors or whatever and sometimes like if the blade is not sharp enough or if it's not good enough or if it's like broken off or like too rusted it can cause the haircut to um be messed up so just keep that in mind as well make sure that you're checking your scissors or your shears before you decide to go in and cut your client's hair especially their natural hair um and another thing that i got i feel like it was a steal um because of the price that i got it for let me put this back this flag is kind of loud so we just gonna put that down so that won't be so loud in y'all ear I actually got this because I broke my flat irons. I actually had the, the baby list or the baby list, however you pronounce it. I had those flat irons, but um, woke up in the middle of the night, stepped on them. They was broken. I needed some more. Um, and I said I was going to get some more, but y'all know that those are kind of pricey. So when I went inside the store, they did have some inside the store, but um, I seen this thing. They had the I like the titanium. I take the titanium over the ceramic any day. But I actually found this set, and I feel like it wasn't nobody but God because this was the last one. And I'm pretty sure they probably I haven't looked it up yet, but they probably discontinued it. But this is the old school, old school, old school babblist, the original babblist, and it came in a little gift set. So it came with the blow dryer, and it also came with the flat irons. And the flat irons are actually ceramic. Um, like I said, I do prefer titanium um, over ceramic. But we'll see how these do. I like how the titanium is. So hopefully the ceramic will work just as good as um, the titanium flat irons. And I'll be using them on my hair and my kids' hair. So you all will be able to see how it does work with different textures and like i said with the products with the other products if i can find these online even if i can't find the set if i can just find it individually i will put the link inside the description box so you all can go shop it yourself but i will be doing a review on this blow dryer and the flat iron it didn't come with a comb it just came with a um these are called a concentrator that's what it's called 
you all didn't know this is called the concentrator it's called the concentrator because it allows um it allows you to actually direct the heat to where to direct the heat to where you want it to be concentrated on on the area of the hair cuticle the screen whatever you want to call it but that's why this is called a concentrator they come with a comb let me see if i can use a universal comb on it um but yeah we gonna see how this work um but that is everything that i got oh no that's not everything i actually got some shining jam as well and some lock-in which i already took that out of the bag because i used it on my client and y'all already know what that is if y'all don't y'all will be able to see it in the previous video if y'all go check it out or y'all will see it if y'all continue to watch me and support me thank you again for watching this whole video Thank you for uh, thank you again for supporting me. Thank you for liking, coming, and subscribing. Don't be afraid to share the video. Um, and stay tuned for our next video. Peace.